the mini map on this map looks like something and I can't quite figure it out. But welcome everybody. Um we've got Nomad. It kind of looks like a very mm, it looks like a weird monster, you know, trying to eat me. I don't know. I probably should have introduced this game in a different way. Uh, but we can't go back now. We've got a 4v4 Nomad game uh, between Team China, which would be Lix's team here. Uh, all of these players are from China. And then three players from Finland and a player from the UK. And we have Lix. <laughs> the player who with Persians would probably want to be close to everyone so we could TC drop far away from everybody here. So let, let's start there, okay? We have Licks for Team China all the way over in the east. And no one is very close to him at all. Uh, in the south, we've got Yo. Yo is fairly by himself. And he's playing as the Goth, so he might want that. Um, looking further, we've got DK. DK not too far away from his buddy Yo here. He's playing as the Cumans. And then, uh, man, they switched colors up on me here. We've got Bad Koala, who's in the blue. And Bad Koala is near the enemy as the Ethiopians. So we've got uh, Rubenstock for Team Finland next to the Max yet again. And Max is Vietnamese, so Max will get to no TC locations based on uh, the, the starts, which will be really good for Team Finland. They can talk through what strategy they're going to do based on the locations. And uh, moving along then, we have direct, uh, sorry, Veleza. Veleza. Amazing player from Finland. We're looking at the top three Finnish players here in one game. And then we have Draconian, who is a player from the UK. Really solid player. Uh, around 2k2, maybe 2k3. Does play a lot of team games and mixed maps. So not like your typical Arabia-only type ranked player. He's playing as the Georgians. And he is also very safe here. So I think on paper, uh, Licks should just probably boom. Like Licks... Uh, playing long-term, two, three, four TCs. Playing patient and going towards Paladin or, I guess, Savar would make a lot of sense. Um, so that, that would make sense on paper. Same deal for Draconian, though. Draconian also has a great boom and, uh, Cav Civilization. Now, both of those players, funnily enough, have docked very close to each other here. I'm gonna see if Lix loses his vill. Elix does not, but uh, down here. So I think if you know you're not going to have problems on land, and of course, Draconian will know this. Lix will not necessarily know this because they don't have all the intel yet. But um, I think you can go water. I think Lix going double dock here would maybe make some sense. I also noticed Bad Koala's start is pretty brutal. He's just got eight pop right now. And is Bad Koala docked? What happened here? Bad Koala, have you docked, my friends? Oh, he docked over here. Okay. Well, some of these civs have better ecos than others. Uh, Goths feel pretty smooth with their hunt lasting longer on Nomad. Persians start with the extra wood and the food, so that feels pretty smooth. I do think that Max might actually struggle with his start, because where is he supposed to take rhinos? Rubenstock took some. Bad Koala took others. Like, Max might only have one Rhino to work with here. And then where is Max supposed to get gold? Where is any of the gold? The gold is all next to Bad Koala, so. So there are probably a few of you that don't know Bad Koala. Um, and I could say the best way to describe Bad Koala is he is very Lixy. Uh, he is not afraid to get his hands dirty. He is not afraid to go forward. He is not afraid to be a pest. In fact, he prefers it. And 1v1s, I would say that Bad Koala is taking whatever army count you have and doubling it on his end. He loves to go forward. He loves to make tons of military. So I think what if he knows... Yeah, and he does know that two people are here. Yo is going to tell him, annoy them, and I'll be there later. <laughs> right? Uh, and, and like usually it's Lix playing that role. But if you have Bad Koala go 1v2, I think Lix and then Yo coming in later on to save the day would make a lot of sense. But again, Team Finland will know the locations. They'll know Yo is here. They will also then know that Lix is over here as well, just based on their 
uh, having Vietnamese, and also they're communicating about the dock locations here too. But yeah, it's been a it's been an awkward start for Bad Koala, but he actually has rhinos. All right, guys. So um, I got some thoughts. I want I want your opinions on this. Okay. So team bonuses are very um very iffy in this game. Sometimes team bonuses are like very noticeable and very helpful. Other times they're very niche bonus that doesn't really play a role. Um, there've been some bad team bonuses that have been removed. There are still some lackluster team bonuses in the game. And overall, that's usually a tricky thing to balance because it's like you don't want to give uh like Mongols an incredible team bonus. I guess they do have a pretty decent one, but you don't want to like give civs that are already well rounded an extra team bonus because then they become too strong, right? However, I have an idea for a team bonus, which I think, as Blue is vil rushing Max's houses right now, I think is actually a good idea. Okay? Now, I'm not saying this is for a new DLC. Uh, I'm not saying I necessarily want a new DLC. I'm just saying a new team bonus, which would make a lot of sense. And that is reveal enemy dock locations. Oh my god, we have a TC drop from Bad Koala! Bad Koala is TC dropping Max! So in the previous game, Max's Max's teammate got... Wait. No, in the previous game, Max's teammate TC dropped Lix. And Lix's team ended up winning. And Bad Koala was just subbed into the game. So I wonder if Lix was like, Hey, Bad Koala, are you enjoying these games? Do you want to play with us more? Bad Koala's like, yes, please. I love you. You and... You and Yo are my my favorite players. You guys are legends. I love you, bro. It's like, great. You want to keep playing? Go TC drop Max. <laughs> and he's probably like, okay. I'll do it. And disagree. But yeah, thoughts though. Real quick before we move on and cast this game. What are your thoughts on a team bonus being all enemy dock locations are visible? Or like starting dock locations. Basically, the Vietnamese bonus with TCs but doc edition way too op you think that's op and not and knowing where the opponent's tc isn't you really do cuz like the tc one is relevant in all settings right yeah you not useful enough for all maps that's fair but there again there are a lot of team bonuses that aren't necessarily always useful guys by the way max might be in feudal but he has big wood problems he does not have a lumber camp, and he's only chopping wood here, so Bad Koala can out-repair him. But wait, the Georgians! The Georgians are on Max's team, and don't they repair less? I think they they invest less into repairing or something? Oh, wait, wait hold on. Max has, Max has lumber here. Ooh, okay. Still just five villagers, but that's really important. I think right now, Bad Koala's like, how am I not beating him? But I think the Georgians have a team bonus where everyone invests or, or spends 25% less on repairs. Oh, Bad Koala, you should have read the tech tree, bro. Oh, no. Hmm. All right. Well, Max is like, cool, bro. Enjoy Dark Age. I'm just going to go back to doing my thing. Max's fishing ships were completely untouched over here. And he's going to make fire galleys now. We do have action on water from Lix and from Veleza. There's a lot happening that we've been missing here. Including two TCs from DK because he's humans. And I'm assuming a tower rush here on Veleza is going fast castle. The DK did not TC drop, but he's humans and he just went for the second TC anyways. I spent way too much time looking here, but it is to be expected. And now we've got Rubenstock Vil rushing against Bad Koala. I mean, Bad Koala needs any type of damage against somebody right now because he's otherwise out of the game. So him being able to Vil rush with Rubenstock is not a bad thing. Rubenstock's fishing eco is fleeing, by the way, because he was starting to lose his fish here. So he's actually in a pretty bad spot when it comes to food. 
uh, at least he has a TC to produce more villagers. Nice job here from Bad Koala to send back the weak vills. This is peak Age of Empires 2. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not saying my suggestion for revealing dock locations would necessarily be, like, the best idea ever, but it was just... I'm not someone who comes out with team bonus recommendations that frequently. I thought it was a pretty decent one. It definitely does it reveal some level of strategy and positioning, which is really important, though. But again, so does TCs. Like, this whole... How Finland would approach this was all based on the knowledge three minutes into the game, or like 30 seconds into the game, of where opponent TCs were. It was just a thought. Now, we're going to see a monastery here from Beleza, but there's a tower next to him. He's going to go Monk Siege to push this back, apparently. Remember, we have not talked about Yo, we have not talked about Licks too much. If we have not talked about a player, they're usually doing good things in Nomad. I've talked a lot about Rubenstock and the Max. And also Veleza, because they have been on the other end of some pressure. Bad Koala still does not have a TC. I think he wants to TC Rubenstock, honestly. He feels very desperate at the moment. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a market there. <laughs> oh, God, he loses it. No! No, he lost it. Oh, now he's got no wood. He's got no stone. He's going to be trapped. He's going to be trapped. Oh, no. He's escaped. Run. Run. Rubenstock's like, if I could just trap him here, this would be perfect. This is what he gets. This is sacrilege. Town centering the Finns. How dare they? Okay, well, this is a mess. We have a TC... Right next to another TC from Veleza? To shoot down the towers. That's next level stuff. Also, I think he got chemistry. He definitely did. He built the university over here. He has chemistry. So maybe he could make some gunpowder at some point. Towers are going to go down for DK and then this TC's for the taking. And I, I don't know about building two TC's right next to the opponent. But Yo is here to help, guys. Yo is pressuring here, but then Draconian comes in from the north with these Manaspa. Sick. This yes. is really good pressure. Rubenstock is asking for Manaspa here because Bad Koala continues to attack houses. Bad Koala will eventually have enough for a TC, but does not for now. If a Manaspa makes it there and there's a couple on the way, that will be the end of Bad Koala. Which means Lix needs to have a crazy boom. And Yo needs to have a crazy boom to have a chance. I'm not hating what I'm seeing, but they, they don't have, like, a massive fish boom. And the TC count isn't ridiculous right now. All right, how's Koala going to deal with this? Quick walls? Quick walls? Oh, boy. Oh, man, the Vils are so weak as well. Quick wall? Quick wall? Quick wall? Okay. Well, I mean, you have to save what you can and get out of here. <laughs> I don't know where you run, though. <laughs> In the previous game, I thought we were going to see someone defeated, but Lix was able to get away. Look how weak these villagers are. <laughs> run! Yo's still trying to pressure and keep Veleza cramped in here, but Veleza seems to be making some nice progress. A shot from Veleza to win water, by the way. That's the thing that we forgot about. He, he's been focused on all that. Will lose some fishing ships potentially to the licks, though. This game is still, like, so super easy for licks right now, right? This is tough for purple, of course, but... Yellow says, what is your plan? I love this from Yellow. He goes to Rubenstock as the wise one, wanting advice. He says, what's the plan for dealing with licks? He's fully stonewalled with Persians. Rubenstock says, you have to figure out something. <laughs> and Draconian says, looking forward for that. So, licks can absolutely win this game on his own. Bad Koala is running over to Yo for protection. And someone says, even in AoE, Koala habitats are threatened. 
Well, in this case, these were very aggressive koalas, right? Like, I held a koala when I was in Australia. That thing was chill, dude. He just wanted to eat. He did not care about me at all. We've got petards! Petards from Draconian. That's one way to deal with it. Oh, this could be so well-timed as well. Ooh, this is a great decision. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get some damage in there on Lix, because Lix is the comeback. Lix and Yo are the comeback kids here for Team China. You need two petards for a piece of Stonewall, and then the units can run through. Lix even Stonewalled here as well. He's adding tons of fishing ships now after winning water. Like, Lix is in the dream scenario, unless his opponent gets into his base with Manaspa, and boom. This is great. Did Max say petards? Oh, yeah, Max said, can't you get in with petards? Like, he's insulting the guy. Draconian says, far for petards, and Max says, walk. <laughs> Max just says, walk. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I like how Max said, can't you get in with petards? Like, it was, like, the most obvious thing ever, right? Like, can't you just get in there? Like, do you not know they exist? Well... The units are through, and this has paid off already. Even without getting kills, this has paid off because this is this was an uncontested boom before. Now Lix is distracted. But we do have a castle from Yo. Uh going up now as I screwed up the colors. Oh crap. Um, what did I do? Sorry, I, I clicked something. We have a castle from Yo directly on Veleza, and it's not just one TC, it's both TCs, because he built them right together. Meanwhile, Cav Archer's from the max, disrupting DK. And uh, DK's still Feudal Age, guys. Like, DK is is really gotta just chill with Vill production at some point. 66 Eco's great, but you gotta get up to Castle Age. I think it's easy to fall into the trap of always producing Vills. I think once you're up at, like, 45, 55, you just stop producing. Save the food. Easier said than done, of course. A couple monks have come out here from Lix to convert Manaspa. He does get that. He also did um, re-wall that when he had a moment, which is really smart. More monks are on the way from Lix. He may be able to stabilize. How's Bad Koala doing, guys? Bad Koala is at 12 pop. He's booming. He's got tons of vills in queue. Let's go. So now it's time for player number two to go over to Yo and hide with Yo. <laughs> and it's DK's turn. <laughs> and he's making another TC. Okay, I think this TC is your Castle Age TC. You've got to get up. Manasper going to break through. The Batard isn't even needed. Lix apparently doesn't see that. Oh, he was just trying to wall behind. He didn't know there were more units here. Does end up getting a couple conversions, but that's just so many Manaspa. And there is a petard there. Velez has done a great job considering the circumstances, right? He's had Yo on him. He had to handle water. He's played this super smooth. The Draconian's done an amazing job as well here. Just to continue to pressure Licks. Max, of course, is going Cav Archers and booming now. Max is uncontested. Rubenstock is uncontested at this point. Rubenstock's booming. This seems very difficult for Team China now. Basically, two players are dead. Two players aren't even in Castle Age now. Like, neither of them are even close to clicking up. And DK just struggling. And Lix, Lix could... Maybe, like, Lix and Yo could maybe do something. If there were two players on Team China that could make it happen, it would be these two. But it just it feels like with Max and Rubenstock and Draconian playing so well, it's going to be very difficult. How many TCs has Team China lost this game? This TC is denied. Bad Koala lost two TCs. Some of them he deleted. DK's lost like three TCs. And these Manasa are pouring into Lix's eco. And this used to be a superior eco, an untouched eco. It's a massacre now. And I think this is GG. I think this is game over. Has to be, right? Purple's still not up. 
Yo, Yo never wants to call it quits. Yo is on the way to imp, and he's thinking maybe I can do something with goths, but... Lix has just been completely massacred by these Manaspa. Did rewall again, though. Pesky of him. I think the, the thing you can't avoid now is you cannot avoid Max or Rubenstock having their best army and a lot of them, whatever that may be. Because they've been untouched for so long and they will not be needed for a while yet. So it's just, it's, it seems like a problem here. Han says GG for already 10 minutes, my friend. Yeah, maybe. I, I think without the Petards, Lix as a 30 villager lead over yellow and ends up with a really strong opening and could potentially pressure Draconian and then Max and Rubenstock need to go there. And then you have Yo with a position to potentially put pressure and yes. kill Beleza. Oh, God. Sad, sad day to be a monk. And how has Veleza done everything that he's done this game? He lost two of his TCs. He got tower pushed. He had to play water. And yet he's imping. He's got a sick eco. He's still applying pressure all the time. It's disgusting how he's been able to play this game as well as he has here. He's so good. Manaspa are going to head this way now. You don't see this all the time on Nomad. I really like these areas, these little crossings. That's really cool. To see a gate on that is there's something special about it. Hmm. So it seems like heavy CA is the plan for Max. It would be a little bit risky against the Goths if the Goths get to Elite Huskarl. But I think he might not be as worried about Elite Huskarls because he has an ally that can make hand cannons. Bad Koala makes it to Feudal Age and promptly gets destroyed by Minaspa. <laughs> oh, rip. <laughs> I'd be like, why are you here? Why are you attacking me? I'm already dead. Stop it. Oh, man. Double castle from Rubenstock and Max. That's cute. They should know Yo is the big, big threat now. Yo, as Treb's going for buildings here, is going to lose one of them to a Manganel. That's annoying. Beautiful damage control from Beleza. Again, as he's almost imp now. And we have a Doubt Castle. We have a very, 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 very Doubt Castle here from Lix as he tries to expand. I wonder if the game is going to say Lix's most created unit is Manaspa at this point. I guess it would be Monk. But he's converted a lot of Minas, but it doesn't matter. There's more of them on the way. Draconian's going to take this. And this is only with the fighting spirit of Yo that they continue here. Yo's just like, this is fine. If I'm not dead, we're not dead. We could do this. Yeah, this is a... Uh, this is a struggle. Yo, Obsy. You'll be loving this. Big Rubenstock fan. Thank you. Thank you, Major Appliance, for the 21 months. Does I'm able to drink now? What kind of drink should I have? Oh, is that because you've subbed for 21 months? Is that like a 21 year able to drink alcohol joke? Uh, water. Yeah, I agree with Fat Teddy. Definitely get some water in you. Bombard Tower? When's the last time you saw Vietnamese make Bombard Tower? There's probably someone here who plays Black Forest who's like, just yesterday, T90, it's actually kind of common, but. Not something you see all the time. I think we can agree on that. And Asper healing up, by the way. A unit that has all this attack is just healing when they're not attacking. My Huskarl's obviously made a lot of progress there for Yo, though. Which is why I was a little surprised by the heavy CA play. I think the reasoning for it, though, is simply because Veleza is going to be there with hand cannons. And then we're going to have... Oh, God, there's Huskarl raids over here. Uh, Rubenstock's gonna have Paladins eventually. For now, though, it looks like Max took a lot of damage to these Huskarls. Look at this walling now from Max. I actually want to remove... This is way too late, but I'm sick of all these market events for... 8 players. Cavalier can deal with the Huskarls. Hand Cannons can deal with the Huskarls. Max will probably lose this castle. But that's not the bulk of his eco. Purple's still contributing very little. 
Bad Qual is still contributing very little. And then Lix is just behind Draconian. And is going for a, a counter attack now, which I believe has been spotted here. So. Yeah, I think the university actually from Veleza gave him the uh, vision there. So he knows these units are running through. I mean, Lix needs to try something except fighting the elite Manaspa. I'm pretty sure the Manaspa beat the camels. So with all this attack, you definitely don't want to be fighting this unit. And guess what? He's going to fight the unit anyways. I am running out of things to say at this point, because this does feel very, very, very over. But, uh, maybe I'm wrong. I think if Yo was bottom score, this game would, they would have called it by now. Yo is fully boomed with the Goths and felt like maybe there was a chance. But yeah, it doesn't happen here. And that was just a really good job from Finland uh, to boom. So that's the second game in a row now that we've seen a player lose their TC while TC dropping. And uh, the team who attempts the TC drop loses. Now, it would make me very happy if Rubenstock has a let me show you how it's done moment. <laughs> uh, if there is another game and Rubenstock just goes, all right. Uh, can I please do it, team? Can I can I show these guys <laughs> how to do it? Because clearly they don't know what they're doing here. But great game. Honestly, I think one of the big moments in the game was the discussion from Team Finland when Max was like, just walk, dude. Well, how do we get there? How do we break in? What's the plan? Can't you do it with petards? Just walk. And that's what he did. Draconian walked there. The Batards was a game-changing play. Otherwise, I think Yellow would have been out here twiddling his thumbs. And it wouldn't have been able to go through. Would have not have done that damage. And then maybe Lix actually carries. Gets a gets like Halb and Camel mix. Uh, pushes Yellow. Yellow needs support. Suddenly Yo is is you know disrupting on this side. And maybe Purple has a slightly better game. Maybe Purple's in the mix as well. So well played, GG, fun game.